Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be number three of the PGBL against Mr. Champion at his Kentucky Capulosions. Now, uh, this is going to be a really stressful match, right? So... I don't think I've ever beaten uh, Chabry, and honestly, I barely even remember like half of the mods that I built. I built this like a, a decent amount ago, so uh, I'm gonna have to remind myself of like what exactly my stats are. But uh, I've never beaten Chabry before, and I really want to this time. I do have a two and zero start. I'm gonna try to screenshot the team uh, before I forget. But here we go. We will see the low punny Heatran, Raikou, Milotic, um. Uh, Noivern and Licky Licky. So, uh, right off the bat, no, no Bulu right off the bat, which is interesting. It's interesting, right? Um, it gives Infernape a lot less to have to worry about clicking close combat against. Um, And he brings neither grass type, which is really interesting to me. Um, Greninja has an okay time here. Probably does just want to lead off with a mill tank. I think I might actually lead off with the Necrozma though. Necrozma makes sense to me just because of a lead Heatran potential. And that seems to make sense to me as much as anything else here. But yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna let it take down. No Bulu, no Nido King, no Yuxi. No Yuxi is huge. No Serena, no Dust Noir. See, so yeah, really interesting choices here. Really interesting choices here. Um, especially defensive Licky Licky could be a huge issue for me. Um, my Infernape is going to have to do a lot here. My Infernip is Scarfed, and Close Combat just straight up destroys three of his mons, straight up. Um, but does lead off with the Noivern. Does lead off with the Noivern. Now, like I said, I want to remind myself of this set, but I'm reasonably sure I'm just pretty standard, yeah. Calm Mind, um, Calm Mind Setup. I can get toxic by the Milotic, for sure, for sure. But his best, like, straight-up switch-in would probably be the... Would probably be the Heatran. Right, Milotic seems fine, but uh, it would kind of be a little bit of a hard read, especially since he does have to be a little bit physically defensive for my um, Infernape. So this feels like a reasonably free Calm Mind, especially when he might try to set up rocks. Does try to drop a Draco as I avoid the Draco. Um, it's not something I would have been too too concerned about, no matter what happened. But uh, that is definitely unfortunate. Um, hopefully it doesn't end up mattering too too much. But um, I think I would have gotten a plus one no matter what happens, and I could have moonlighted off the damage, which would have probably put him in a worse spot. In all honesty, now he gets to U-turn if he wants to, or just straight up switch out. Uh, my Lodic would be problematic here, but um. Now, Charisma just in general seems really solid against his team, unless he does bring the Hard Toxic, which I could only really see on the Heatran, right? And Heatran is mildly problematic just because uh, it could be Fast Toxic, which would be problematic, obviously. Um, but it could also be a super bulky Heatran, which um, would also be an issue. But if it is, I would prefer it to be bulky, because if I do get up a little bit higher... Um, if it was say like max HP, max special attack, or some or some such combination, um, I can I can boost past it and and <laughs> I can boost up past it and click Earth Power. Uh, sorry, I'm mildly distracted because um, one of my favorite Tupac songs is in my earphones right now, and uh, and uh, I'm ge I'm generally tempted to just like rap along to it, but I'm not I'm trying not to anyway. We do see the Licky Licky. So again, mildly problematic, but I will be at plus three, I believe. Um, now this thing could definitely be toxic. But at this point, now I become problematic for him. Um, so let's see. Special attack at plus three. I honestly don't know how much this I should expect this to do. 
but I think we should experiment a little bit. This thing should be specially defensive by every indication. Um, assault vest would be the most problematic possible. Actually, no, assault vest would mean that it couldn't have toxic. So, uh, I guess assault vest would be best case scenario here. But at plus three, if it's just max HP, oof. If it, okay, that's not a lot of damage. But I think I should honestly expect this thing to, to click toxic on me now. But, um, I imagine I have Heal Bell on my mill tank. Again, I don't 100% remember, but... I just... I was... I was honestly hoping that I'd be able to bait in the Heatran. That would have been best case scenario, but, um... Here I can just click Photon Geyser. Uh, it does click Knock Off, so knocks off my leftovers. So I would normally... It is leftovers. I would normally say that that would be Assault Vested by the fact that he didn't try to Toxic me, but... Um... At plus three, this becomes a straight up to a KO, so he's gonna have to do a lot to wear me down. And he doesn't know that I Moonlight yet. So I can potentially try and, like, Moonlight... Um... Recover up on something. Like, say, okay, if the Neuvern wants to come in and, like, click Draco again. I can try to recover up on that. Uh, honestly, he could try to go into Low Punny. Low Punny would be pretty solid for me, because he doesn't know how, defen how physically defensive I am. And I am pretty much max physical defense. Yeah, okay. I think this is reasonably best case scenario i i would be very surprised if this thing's toxic and i think i'm i think i'm high enough yeah i'm pretty much max physical defense so i should be able to uh just click moonlight here right i should be able to just click moonlight here let's just go for the fake out he will be able to see how physically defensive i am now, I do have to take a hit. Like, that's not in question here. But if I do take this hit, then I am in a really good spot here. I do take the hit. I can Moonlight up. So, it looks like no matter what happens, I'm going to take another Mon with me. And it's just going to really depend on what Mon it is. But I think only, like, two Moonlights more and I get up... At a really healthy spot relative to this low punny's damage output. So, okay, the way that he's playing this really makes me, really leads me to believe that, um, the Heatran is his really, like, specially defensive, like, um, or not even, but, like, the slower, bulkier, like, toxic set, um, which is really, I don't know, maybe it's, I mean, I am at plus three now, so. This is the most physical attacking output that he has available to him right now. Actually, he has no, he has no other physical attacking output right now. Um, so if this thing goes down, then I'm just chilling at plus three, plus three. Which is kind of wild to think about, but uh, it is kind of the state of affairs right now. Okay, Power Punch is mildly problematic, but... And now this is going to ensure that um, I'm up like... At full HP, and I'm and I should be able to take any hit that he wants to go for. And something gets KO'd. If if I can KO this low pony right now, that would open up the door a huge, huge amount. I do stay about I do I do stay in the green, which is uh which feels really big right now. Um, what I think is most likely to happen right now is him going into Raikou and trying to Gigavolt Havoc me. Um, that feels the most likely to me right now. But, in all honesty, I don't know. Um, the Heatran comes out, okay. So... He doesn't know my other two moves, and I've done a decent job so far of concealing what my last two moves are. Um, he could try to Z-move me now. Okay, if he is a fast E-Train with Z-move... If he is a fast E-Train with Z-move, okay. I guess Moonlight covers all my bases, right? Because this thing could be toxic. It could be bulky toxic, right? In which case, I'd want to stay a little bit healthier, right? 
And if this thing is Z move, well, if it's fast Z move, then it doesn't matter. And, well, no, if it's fast Z move, then I should take a hit of plus three and recover off. And yeah, okay. I guess Moonlight covers all my bases, even though I really just want to click Earth Power. Like I, like I want this thing off my screen so badly because it opens up the door so much for my Infernape. Um, I'm gonna make this slightly more restrained play and try to click Moonlight here. I am faster, which which probably means that I will get Toxic here, but it does probably mean that I will KO with Earth Power. So I've not revealed my fourth move. I got Lava Plumed. Okay, so I can potentially get burned here, which would be interesting. Um, I do get burned. Okay, okay. That's probably best case scenario, I think. That's honestly probably best case scenario. And he doesn't know what I am at all, so I can click Earth Power. He doesn't know- well, he doesn't know this fourth move yet. And this is a plus three quantum perfective uh, Earth Power. Um, I don't know if he wants to scout for it, like going to Neuburn. Like, that would be an interesting play, but the fact that I can't be toxic anymore... Um, it honestly does leave me pretty susceptible to, um, there's the Earth Power, there's the Shucka Berry, okay. Okay, okay. I'm still plus three. And that is still a KO, okay. So, no, that was a crit, okay. Um, hopefully that didn't matter, I'll talk to him after the match, I'll see. Uh, I'll, if I remember, I'll put up, like, a calc or something, but, um, yeah, who knows. That was plus three times two super effective, uh, through Shucka Berry, so who knows. And... The, every indication would be that I get one more KO before this Necrozma leaves the field. And at that point... Um... Hmm. Honestly... I don't not lose to my Lodic still. I, okay, honestly, I still think that this thing can be, can be Z-Move, which is pretty bad overall. Part of me wants to click Moonlight for that reason. I think I will. Again, I, I want to make the slightly more restrained move. Does go for the th straight Thunderbolt. So, might not have Z move on this team. I believe his two Z captains are the Heatran and the. And the Raikou. So. So, uh, I guess we just see what happens here, right? I guess we just see what happens here. But I can I can click Earth Power, but I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, when, fo when plus three Photon Geyser should do everything that I needed to do here. Um. It does go into Neuvern. Okay. Oh, he yeah, he, he definitely expected me to click Earth Power there. But again, um, uh, Earth Power had too many drawbacks, right? Again, this Neuvern play was was one of them, but it could, could have been Shucka Berry. It could have been, like, any number of things. Where I, when I think Photon Geyser does the same amount that I needed to, especially since at plus two, Photon Geyser and Earth Power are, like, pretty comparable, and Stab, and, like, all this kind of stuff, stuff right? So, I'm at plus three. Regardless, um, this Milotic is still problematic, right? So, I still have to beat the, the, the Milotic. Which, uh, thankfully, I still have Domize in the back for that, but I'm super curious to see how much damage, um, this would do in general. It does have Haze! Wow! Okay, so he outspeeds me with Haze. So I guess, um, he couldn't tell how fast- well, no, he should have been able to tell how fast I was after the blow punny, seeing how, how, um, how defensive I was. But now Necrozma has claimed four KOs. Um, this Milotic is actually going to be really difficult for me to break through. And Necrozma feels really valuable for me in terms of breaking the... I really want to make a hard switch into Delmize, and I think I will do that. I think I will do that. Um, will I do that? Yeah. Does withdraw, okay. Goes into the Raikou. Um, I think... I think I can work the Raikou a little bit here, but what I can't do is lose my Delmai, so I'm gonna have to double ag again. He could HP Ice. He could HP Ice. That would probably be his optimal play. Do I take two HP Ices with Zygarde? Probably not. What I probably should do... I go into Infernape. I, I want to remind myself of my Infernape set, like exactly what it is. Uh, where are you? Okay. Uh, Infernape is Adamant Scarf. I mean, I mean, I I knew going into this match that that I dual scarf between um between Infernape and Greninja, but I knew one of them had to be a uh, speed boosting nature, and one of them could have been attack boosting nature. So, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what I'll do. 
I wouldn't be surprised at all to see an HP. Maybe a Shadow Ball. Yeah, okay. So Greninja would have been slight. I, I guess not. Okay. 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 I see... Really no reason not to click Close Combat. I really do want to click U-Turn. U-Turn would be pretty solid for me here. U-Turn would be really solid for me here. But the fact that that Milotic is not Flame Orb means that this thing can potentially do a KO it. I'd be curious to know if that's the case, but um, I pretty aggressively do want to click U-Turn, but I don't know if that's optimal. I'm going to click Close Combat here. I think it's time to get some damage off, even if I do have to, like, eventually just stack off this Invernape. Um, I think it will ultimately be worth it for this extra damage here. And, uh, Thunderbolt will KO, especially at minus one. That's ultimately going to be fine. But what it does allow me to do... I mean, I believe... Huh. I don't know, him being able to switch between Raikou and Milotic is really difficult for me. I can go into Greninja and click Dark Pulse, even though this set doesn't have Dark Pulse. Um... Uh, hmm. I honestly don't know what I want to do here. I think I just have to hit something eventually, but, uh, how do I play this that doesn't, like, trap me in? I think Greninja makes sense to me, right? Once one of these goes down, then the other will, like, go down after that. Let me remind myself of this set. Yeah, I'm at the point where this thing can definitely just get off a Toxic, and whether or not he, he decides to switch in and out, it won't matter anymore. Um, that Infernape damage, I think, is going to be really all that I was going to need here, because because it's going to mean... Yeah, it does Volt Switch, um, but getting the Toxic off on the Milotic is as good as anything else that could have happened here. Um, I don't think I mind this interaction at all. Um, because, yeah, this Toxic just in general is huge, even though this will give him a Marvel skill, probably. It could be competitive, who knows, but I don't think he has any reason to run competitive against me. Um, he could talk to me, which would be, no, no, the best thing that I can do is just, is just continue to, to, to exert, um, seismic toss pressure here. Um, and that should cover any switches that he wants to make if he wants to, oh, I have to be, if he wants to, um... If he wants to Toxic, if he wants to switch into Raikou, it should put on all the pressure that I need in this situation. Especially if he wants to burn me, that, now I can't get Toxic, now I can very freely Milk Drink, and, uh, I will win this interaction eventually, it's just a matter of, um... Playing this correctly, overall. So, I really do want to be healthy. I'm going to click Milk Drink. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this is stalling, then I'm sorry, but, um, this is ultimately what I kind of feel like I have to do here. And then, um, and then him not recovering might be conceding i'm not too too sure but um it looks like it looks like one or two more turns of seismic toss should close out the milotic and then and then i believe another seismic toss after that should close out the the raikou 
Uh, okay, let's go, let's go for the recovery. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. But now, uh, yeah, this Toxic should continue to be problematic for him. Um, and yeah, I believe that's four KOs for Necrozma. And that's going to be another two for, for Miltank. Miltank has two KOs on the season, um, which has been really, really fun. But... But yeah, I can just Seismic Toss again. And... Yeah, he could have recovered, but it would have been... It would have been... A wrap either way. Um... And I've already seen Volt Switch damage from the Raikou, and I believe I should be able to take a Thunderbolt from this thing. I, I mean, I don't take a Z Thunderbolt. It, it can potentially still be Z Thunderbolt, to be fair. But as long as I take a Thunderbolt and I'm able to click Seismic Toss, then I believe that would close out the match. Uh, I mean, I could scout that out and go into Zygarde, but... Um... I'm just going to hope to take it. He could play for differential. That it does go for the Thunderbolt. I have a max pressure defense. Mill tank, we do take that fine. And Seismic Toss does close out the match. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I believe this is our first time beating Mr. Chabber. He has um had a really solid time. I mean, I mean uh, in Season 1, I believe, he went all the way to the finals. Uh... Season two, he had a Season 2 playoff run. He was, I believe, one match away from a Season 3 playoff run. He's always had uh, solid seasons all around. He's always had my number for whatever reason. But uh, this time, just Necrozma uh, did really what it needed to do. And uh, obviously, that Draco miss was unfortunate. But uh, Necrozma had all the tools that it, that it needed to have. And uh, it opened the door for everything else that I need to open the door for. That Milotic was definitely problematic. The, and um, I was definitely afraid of a Marvel Scale Milotic, be, uh, a Flame Orb Milotic being able to... Uh, toxic my team and deal with the rest of my team, but um, thankfully uh, it was something more manageable, and that is going to be the match. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with week four. I believe next week we'll be up against uh, Viz and the Sydney Scissors. So please stay tuned for that. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.